is a family-owned business, and uh, you walk in that door, you may come in as a stranger, but you're gonna leave as my kinfolk. I guarantee it. It's just, that's just the way it is. Billy Hot Dog, a roadside restaurant in LaSage, West Virginia, where you literally eat your food inside of a school bus. And this is one trip you will not regret taking. If you're looking for a one of a kind dining experience, you'll find that and so much more at Hillbilly Hot Dogs. And believe it or not, this weenie wonderland came to be more than two decades ago. Lots has happened, I'm sure, in that time period. So if you don't care, just give me a little bit of backstory about Hillbilly Hot Dog, how it got started. Where did this idea come from? Well, my husband and I were sitting out underneath the trees out front and he said, well, honey, we got to start doing something, you know, and I came from California. As he would say, he brought he brought Beverly to the hills. <laughs> And uh, so we sat out there and I said, well, and I looked over towards this way and I said, honey, plow that land and build me a little weenie stand. So the, whoa, that just completely came out of your brain? That came like... out of my brain. And from that <laughs> moment, we never referred to anything here as hot dogs except our name, but everything was weenies. Weenie. He was the weenie man, I'm the weenie wife. So where did your like hot dog culinary skills come from? Because you know, most people, it, it's, it's, ketchup, chili, slaw, well, West Virginia. We know we have yes, a West Virginia yes. dog, but um, where did you come up with all these creative recipes? I was a broke mom, literally broke. And I had my, my two sons and my daughter, my, uh, my daughter, and uh, she's really my niece, but I'm raising her. And it was just me having to feed them. So a broke mom who had to feed her children no, no question. I went to the cupboard and hot dogs are cheap and I'd have leftovers and I'd go, well, let's see, I got an egg, I got that. I'd throw it on there and put a little ketchup and, and a little cheese if I had it. And if I didn't, well, you, you wouldn't know it and fed it to my kids. And my kids thought they were always eating gourmet. They'd say, oh, can I invite Billy Brooker over? We got taco dogs tonight, mom. Can Billy Brooker come? And I'd be like, Okay, as I'm like, oh my gosh, dear God, please let me just feed them. Over the years, um, you guys became this phenomenon. You know what I mean? You're you are a huge culinary force in West Virginia. Um, you guys have gotten tons and tons and tons of national attention for what you have here. Um, talk to me about when when that started. Were you guys like? Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, we, well, most certainly were. And I want to first and foremost put that right back on my customers. I don't really think it was anything Sonny and I did. It was our customers. And our customers wrote in. Our customers wrote in to the Food Network or to the Travel Channel. They did that for us because they, what they see, we didn't see. Sonny and I are just a walking love story that we're coming to work every day and having one heck of a great time, <laughs> you know, cooking up weenies and talking to people. And But our customers are the ones that did that. They're the ones. So I can't, I fully cannot take credit for that. I, it's, it's them. You mentioned the home wrecker. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, home I, you know, uh, I, I'm sure that in the video or in the comment section, people are going to say like, oh, why didn't you do that or whatever? I, I'm, I'm just going to address the camera. No. <laughs> For me, it's a no. Um, but that is a huge thing that is associated with you guys. Tell me about the home wrecker challenge. Well, you have 12 minutes to eat <laughs> three pounds okay. of food. And uh, some do and some don't. Majority don't, but for those that do, we, we, we will give them the t-shirt. There's no one that has broken the record, which is two minutes and 34 seconds. Someone did that? Oh yes, oh Aww. yes, yes, yes. Your poor belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have talked about the history of Hillbilly Hot Dog. Um, great backstory. Now I think it's time that I'm gonna try some of your fabulous cuisine. I'm very excited about it. So we'll have him bring them over. So these hot dogs, yes. this one right here is gonna be the West Virginia dog but with no mustard. Okay. That's the pizza dog. And then that one right there is gonna be our taco dog. Okay. I, thank you. All right. <laughs> so I have to, just because of obligatory reasons, hot, the West Virginia dog. West Virginia dog first. first. Gotta go first yep. with the West Virginia. And you know what's so funny to me? Like growing up in like midget league cheerleading and stuff, of course, there's hot dogs at every single like concession stand, right, right? Right. I just thought that like the world as a whole did chili slaw and onion on a on a hot dog. I just thought that was a thing. It's very much a West Virginia thing. It uh, is because all my California family and friends that have come out, I tell them, you got to have the coleslaw. You got to have it. It's got to be cold. You got to have it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh no, I don't know. I close your eyes and try it. The backstory that you gave me about. Getting creative with hot dogs. Yes, this is. Um, this so is pizza our, dog. 
what's on this? So on the pizza dog, you've got your pizza sauce, you've got your pepperoni that's been slightly fried, Ooh. and your cheese. <laughs> so it's and, and the good thing about the pizza dogs is that let's just say you're traveling. Get those, wrap them up. You can stick them on your little engine. They'll heat them up for you as you go. Ooh. When you get to destination, you still got a nice warm pizza Look dog. Look at you. And see, here's the thing too. West Virginia, another thing that we're known for are like pepperoni rolls, right? That's this right. is basically a pepperoni roll hot dog. Right. And I am here for it. There you I'm go. I'm so excited. There you go. Dig in. This one here is really a prize because originally when we first started, we put them in the hard shell. And we went through so many hard shells because the bottom, you can just barely slide that weenie in there. Right. So it was, it, it was a hit and miss. And then we just said, let's just go to the bun because that's what we are. Right. So everything went on to, and it's, it's just, it's amazing. This has got your chili sauce, your tostitos, your oh uh, God, salsa, your lettuce, tomato, I, I think this jalapeno. Be, oh, it might be my favorite one. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> A lot of people, it is their favorite. Even though we've all got issues going on out there, you come in here and you're laughing because you're like, I don't believe this. <laughs> I do not believe. So you're coming and laughing, so you're putting smiles on our face, and in return, we want to give back that smile. You know, I just thought your life can be a hot mess, but you can always fix it with a hot dog. <laughs> there it is. Oh. All right. Good stuff. I love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Just one more fun closing fact. If you really, really love hot dogs, you can even tie the knot at Hillbilly Hot Dogs at their very own Weenie Wedding Chapel. We'll see you next time on Crave West Virginia.